Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you how I made a card with the cute uh, Best Butterfly Stamp Set Bundle from Stampin' Up, uh, which is in the new annual catalog that just started last week. So I am uh, excited to be able to show you something fun and new. Um, and like I said, I, it's just a cute little stamp set and um, a cute little bundle, I guess. So not just the stamp set, it's got the whole, it's got dies and everything that go with it. So, and I see I'm all crazily crooked on here. I'm trying to get it straight out without jarring the screen too much so anyhow all right uh thanks so much pam and i see karen is here as well so hopefully y'all are having a great day and it's kind of a beautiful day here in new jersey i cannot complain at all it's been a little cold and rainy and ucky and uh it's beautiful here today so hey donna and akiko and barbara thanks for hopping in today so Gosh, my camera is just all sorts of crazy. Sorry, I, I don't know why it's all tilted funny. So <laughs> hopefully it's not too crazy to look at it. All right, so let's get going. Um, hey, Penny, it is such a cute set, isn't it? It's kind of, I don't know, retro looking is what I think of what I think of it. So and Karen's here and Mary as well from Holly Springs, Georgia. Thanks for hopping in. So, um, yeah, I mean, I can't complain. It is sunny and it is warm and I like wearing short sleeves, which I haven't in a really long time. So, all right, so let's get talking about the card. So this is it, what we're gonna be making today. It's actually really simple, just a lot of layering. And other than that, it's just, you know, hardly any die cutting even, just a little bit of layering. So this is the stamp set. Again, it's really cute. It's got the little butterfly pieces that you can stamp individually and die cut. It's got the little butterfly bodies and some polka dots, um, some cute little sentiments in it. So again, uh, um, little triangles so it's a cute cute stamp set and then we have the coordinating dies that go with it as well and so the dies cut out the little stamp butterfly bodies or not or you can do whatever you want with them you can just use it for a regular old body too so um hey cindy thanks for hopping in and karen so glad you're here and Bree is here as well and if i missed anybody else i apologize i was busy yapping and not paying any attention so um so we've got some kind of detailed butterflies these two don't really coordinate with the stamped images. I mean, I'm sure you could stamp them and die cut them if you wanted to. They might look a little strange, but I think they're designed to be used more as like, I used this one um, on the vellum layer here. So it's kind of a detailed layer that you can put over the top. So, hey, Mary, thanks for joining from Wisconsin. And then these, it may be a little bit hard to see, but they're actually all little individual die pieces here. So you've got individual die cuts that will cut out the, around the stamped images, but then you can also layer it up. If you don't want to have to stamp everything, you can layer up the piece Pieces and die cut um, the insides as well. So again, same thing on these. These are all little individual die cuts that you can either stamp and cut out around the image, or you can just die cut it with the two pieces. And then you've got kind of a cute layered, you know, sort of, I don't know, die cut look butterfly um, that you can also use. So hey, Julie, thanks for joining. So it's a really cute die set, really cute stamp set. And definitely if you don't have it, you need to get it. So, <laughs> so there. Um, all right, before I get going, let's talk about a couple things, a couple Stampin' Up! updates. Um, if you are not a demonstrator, you really should join now. Hey, Deborah and Jeannie, I'm glad you're here as well. So um, you really should join because they have a great great starter kit promotion going on. You get $66.50 worth of free in-color merchandise, um, which is the in-color grid paper pack, the um, in-color cardstock pack, in-color ink pads, and the in-color designer series paper. You get that for free in addition to your regular $125 worth of merchandise that you get to pick in a starter kit for $99 plus tax, if tax applies in your area. It all ships for free. You get a free paper pumpkin kit, which is just a random one that Stampin' will give, will give you from the past. Um, some free business supplies. And again, all of this cool stuff. So it's a great deal. If you are not a demonstrator, you should consider joining. If you have questions, we have got a great Stampin' Up! team. Um, we're very relaxed and not pushy. And most of us just really love stamping and um, creating. And so come join us. <laughs> so let me know if you have questions about that. Hey, Amy, thanks for joining. Waiting on the UPS guy. I know. <laughs> Mine got here a little earlier today with a box of really boring bubble mailers so nothing too exciting today <laughs> so hey bonnie i'm glad you're watching on your lunch break too all right. Um, other thing is today, which is Tuesday, is my last day for my double reward points ordering bonus with orders of $50 or greater um, that you place through my online store. So if you are interested in getting double points from me, uh, stop by my online store and um, pick up a few things. $50 order, $50 order gets you double running shoe reward points. If you don't, aren't familiar with my running shoe program, it's basically my customer thank you or my customer thank you um, program that I've got. So if, if you, when you collect eight points, you get a free $40 order of your choice from me. Um, so right now, 
you get double points. So put in a $100 order and you're halfway to a free $40 order from me. Anyhow, if you have questions about it, let me know. Um, the details are posted on my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com. And I'll stop talking, well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> A um, couple other things. The sentiment, I guess I didn't say that. Um, when I started here, the sentiment on this uh, card, I actually pulled from the Charming Sentiments stamp set, which is a really cute one. Um, and it's, in the again, in the new mini catalog. There are a set of dies that cut out kind of really closely around all these little sentiments in here. So it is a great sentiment set, great die set, great bundle. So get everything and then you won't be sad. But I just used the sentiment on here. I didn't actually do the little die cutting with it. I just stamped it on a little strip because I thought that kind of went with the theme of we're doing piece panels of paper and anyway I thought the little die cut sentiment might look a little weird on it so I just went with a straight up <laughs> just a regular old sentiment panel um, and then I also used the uh, this the second to the largest of the circle dies from the stylish shapes dies to cut out the circle around the butterfly or under the but butterfly I guess all right so let's get going um, you will note that I changed up the designer series paper, the background one, a little bit. Um, I'd put the striped one on my initial card. Hey, Shirley, glad you're here as well. And I thought I'd change it to polka dots on this one. So you can let me know which one you like better when we get all done with the card. Um, I haven't seen the polka dot one done myself yet, so we'll see how it looks when we get done. I have a feeling I'm going to lean more towards the stripes, but you never know. So um, the Designer Series Paper is from the Butterfly Kisses 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack, which again is in the same suite if you want to get it all together, which you should just get it all together because you're going to want it all anyway. Um, it's in the same suite with the uh, Butterfly... Uh, Best Butterflies uh, stamp set bundle. So you can get it all with one order number and get the paper. And there's some little embellishments that we'll be using here in a second. And the bundle, and it all comes in one swing. And then you don't have to remember to put everything in. So hey, J <laughs> Jamie, thanks for hopping in. And Jeannie's here as well. So uh, watching, all right. Daughters in surgery, perfect distraction. Well, I'm glad I can help you out today. So, all right, so we got that done. The paper is cut to about four and a quarter by five and a half. Card base is uh, Parakeet Party, which is one of the new in colors, and it is cut to about five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter, which I forgot to say that. All the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow, which is probably safer than listening to me say them because I, have, I get them wrong a lot of times when I say them, and sometimes they're even wrong on my blog. But I try not to be wrong on the blog sometimes I am so all right got another piece of the um, butterfly kisses designer series paper this one's cut to about five and a quarter by two and a half and again we're going to just line it up down here try to get it even around the three sides um, obviously the top is not going to be because it's a little shorter so and try to get it lined up straight main thing on that one and then the other piece that I've got here, this is cut to about one and three eighths by five inches. So again, it's just a little smaller um, all the way around. And that's kind of, whoop, I put the lid back on that. That's not gonna work out very well. And I'm just using stamp and seal to adhere this together. And again, this time around, I went up near the top and tried to get it somewhat even around the edges and the top and just added a little layer in there. And then the final piece of designer series paper. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. This one is, again, this is all from the Butterfly Kisses designer series paper. And it is such a cute pack, so you'll definitely want to get it. Um, but this piece is cut to about a half an inch by about three inches. And um, again, we're just going to stick that right on here. Eh, I think we'll just go about right there. And again, the main thing is just trying to get it on straight. And even if it's not straight, there are enough patterns and designs in this paper that nobody's going to notice. All right, so next up, I've got a little piece of basic white cardstock. And this piece is cut to about uh, three and a half inches by about three quarters of an inch high. And I cut it at an angle on the end. So it was three and a half inches when I started, and I trimmed off a little bit at an angle on the edge over here. So it is, I mean, it's, this paper is so much fun, and you can definitely kind of mix and match it all. And um, like I said, it's got some pretty, pretty florals in it and pretty butterflies in it, and so all those good things. All right, got Fresh Freesia ink. And the sentiment, again, from the Charming Sentiment stamp set. And we're just going to ink that up in Fresh Freesia ink. And I'm going to stamp it here. Hopefully get it on here straight and even. Ah, ta-da! <laughs> Hopefully I've got it in about the right place, too. Um, if not, we'll adjust it accordingly and trim it off a little bit if we need to. I am going to wait to adhere this down until I've got my circle stuck on here so that I kind of know generally where I need this to land. I want to make sure that my sentiment is not underneath the circle. So I'm going to wait to actually adhere it down. 
Um, I've got a circle that I cut from basic white cardstock with, again, the, the second from the largest of the um, Stylish Shapes dies, which, again, this is a die set that's new in the catalog, and if you don't have it, you just get it. Trust me, you're going to want it, and then you won't be sad if you don't have it. So, all right, we're going to use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere the die-cut circle to the card front. All right, just going to peel the backing off of those, and we're going to stick this on to the card front. We'll kind of go up a little bit and to the left. I was going to say right, but that is definitely not the right. <laughs> up and to the left is sort of where we want that to land. And then I can take my sentiment and um, I can put it on now because I know where it's going to land on here. And it'll depend a little bit on where you, obviously if I'd stamped it over closer to the edge, I could shove it underneath further. If I stamped it further over here, I need to slide it out further. So um, that's why I wanted to wait just to make sure that I had it in the right spot before I glued everything down and then went, oh, that's not going to work out so well. All right, so I'm gonna take that, use the little stamp and seal to adhere it on, and just try to make sure that I've got it lined up fairly straight. The little line of hearts here is what's helping me to, to figure out if I've got it straight, and hopefully I do. So I've got that stuck down. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of stamping. Uh, where is my, here it is, my Fresh Freesia ink, Fresh Freesia, Freesia cardstock. And then I have got the little bottom half of my butterfly and we're just gonna stamp that in Fresh Freesia ink on Fresh Freesia cardstock. So it's gonna be kind of that tone on tone look for the butterfly. And then I'm gonna grab my Calypso Coral ink pad next. And the larger kind of polka dotty looking butterfly top half and Calypso Coral cardstock. So again, just gonna ink that up and do the tone on tone stamping as well. Try to make sure I've got it solidly inked. If I don't, I have a little extra cardstock, so we'll just restamp it if it looks all sorts of crazy. I think that looks pretty decent. And then the last little piece that we're gonna stamp on here is this sort of dash look lined image um, from the butterfly and it took me a minute of looking at this going what in the world is that for and then i looked in the catalog and realized oh you can decorate up the little butterfly body with it so that is what i did i've got parakeet party cardstock parakeet party ink and again we're just going with that tone on tone look and we are going to stamp this here on the cardstock um, the one thing that I did find, and I should probably double check it as I'm looking at this to make sure that I don't have it stamped in the wrong spot, which I might. Oh, barely going to make it. <laughs> when, I, when I made this card initially, it took me like four tries of stamping that darn body before I got it into the right spot because I kept stamping it too close to the edge and then I'd end up with like an antenna off and then it wouldn't cut right. And you know, you know how it goes. Sometimes you have days like that and I was having a day like that <laughs> when I was trying to make this card. All right, so we're going to do a little die cutting here. And I have got my fancy new... Um, magnetic cutting plate which i absolutely love i have missed this so much i mean i'm telling you i love a magnetic cutting plate um so the sandwich for this actually is the the basic cutting plate on the bottom which is the number one plate on the stamp and cut and emboss machine and then you take the magnetic cutting plate and that goes on next and it is a super thick plate which i don't know how if how well you can see it in the screen but it's a super thick plate and um, it's magnetic all the way across the top. So it's not like some of the magnetic plates um, where you've got, it's like scoots all over the place, the magnets do, because the magnets are in you know one spot and your die's in another, and then it wants to make the, the die slide all over the place. This one is magnetized across the entire top, which is a nice feature, I think, um, because then you can kind of put your dies wherever you want them to go, as opposed to having to follow the magnets around <laughs> on the, on the um, cutting plate like I used to have to do when, when I used a different type. So, all right, these dies, again, just fit perfectly around your little butterfly images and around the butterfly body. And then I'm gonna take my cutting plate, the clear one, and lay it on the top. And I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. Um, uh, I know the little polka dot bikini, I'm telling you, it's, but it, like I said, it's like a 1970s set to me is what it looks like in the paper and everything. <laughs> All right, so let's get these put through the uh, die cutting machine. All right, and we've got them here. Oh, looks like I can, eh, it doesn't cut it too bad. And I'm going to lay your vellum over the top of it so I don't think you'll see that it's a little bit off 
because apparently I was not paying attention when I placed the um, die on the butterfly wings. Anyhow, this is a self-healing mat as well, which is also wonderful, and um, I do love that because it uh, you can cut on it for quite a while. And like I said, I'm sure at some point it definitely will wear out, um, but I think it's going to take lots and lots and lots of cutting before that happens. So, <laughs> yes, it's not yellow. You're right. So it's, it is orange and not a yellow one. Wasn't it yellow? I think it was yellow in that, <laughs> in that song. I don't know. That was... Believe it or not, that was a little before my time, not a lot, a little before my time. All right, so I'm going to use mini glue dots here to stick the little uh, butterfly pieces. Oh, we're not got a mess here. <laughs> butterfly pieces uh, to the, um, the die cut circle that I got here. So I've got my butterfly wings, the top wings. I'm going to stick those up here. And I'm not pressing it down really hard just yet because I want to make sure, again, I want to make sure that everything is landing where I want it to, to be before I, like, smoosh everything down and um, have it stuck for good. So, again, using little glue dots to stick on the bottom part of the butterfly. All right, and I think we're going to be pretty good on that. And then ahead of time, I should have told you this before when I was doing my die cutting, I grabbed this little butterfly die and I cut a piece of white vellum with this. So we're just going to add a little white vellum layer in there. And I'm actually going to put some glue dots on the back of it. And it won't matter because this green die cut is actually going to cover up my butterfly down the center. So you're, um, you can stick the glue dots on or you can use whatever type of adhesive. If you prefer liquid glue, you can definitely um, use liquid glue as well. But I'm just using little glue dots on here. Hopefully you can see them underneath the center of the butterfly. I am going to roll the one under that got a little, little squirrely and stuck out the side because I was not paying attention to where it landed. Um, and then I'm just going to stick that directly on over the top of my other die cut butterfly. And then I'm going to take my little green um, die cut that I've got here, my little parakeet party, and going to stick glue dots right down the center of that. And we're actually almost done with this card. <laughs> so it's a pretty quick and simple one. Just lots of layers. All right, so we got glue dots, and I'm just going to layer it so that it's centered over the top of the butterfly. A little bit hanging off the bottom, a little bit hanging off the top. And that's it for the butterfly. So again, super, super simple. All right, the last piece that I added here to the card front was some of these Fun Flowers resin shapes. And again, these are all part of that same suite of products. So you can actually order the um, stamp set dies, designer series paper, and these little embellishments with one number. Um, you do get a discount. You get the 10% discount on the stamp set and dies. The rest of the items are the regular price in it. Um, but it is nice that you don't have to remember then to actually, you know, like, put every little thing in <laughs> in the order, um, you, it'll automatically be there. So, all right, and I'm going to add on a couple of the little flowers here. I think I'm going to stick this one. Eh, I think I'll stick that here. And then we'll take one of the little Calypso coral ones and we'll stick that up here. So there we go. And I love that they're self-adhesive, um, so they're really easy to put on as well. So, oh, thanks. I'm glad y'all are liking the card. Like I said, it's, it was so fun to put together, and it's such a cute stamp set, and such a great pack of designer series paper that just order it. You'll have fun. <laughs> so, all right, on the inside of the card, I'm keeping it pretty simple as well. I've got a little strip of the that I trimmed away from when I cut this larger panel. It's about a half an inch wide by about six inches long because I didn't trim it down any on the end. I just trimmed it down shorter so that it would stick here on my um, piece of basic white cardstock that's cut to about four and a quarter by um, four inches by five and a quarter is what I'm trying to say. Goodness, see, this is why I shouldn't try to do numbers while I'm stamping. So, all right, I'm going to use a little stamp and seal and we're just going to adhere this to the inside of the card and that's going to be it for the card today. So like I said, it's super simple and such a cute, all you need to do is layer up that designer series paper, add a little die cut, a little sentiment and it's all done. So super simple and uh, my kind of stamping for sure. All right, let's get that done. We're going to fold this and do a little crease over it with the bone folder, slide my mess out of the way <coughs> and that's it. So let me know which one you like better. I don't know. Like I said, I'm leaning a little bit more towards I like the stripes a little better. But the polka dots are kind of cute too. So, all right. So that is it for my card today. Um, I will be back. I'll plan to be back around 2 o'clock Eastern time on Friday with another card on my YouTube channel. And then back here next week, Tuesday, around 2 o'clock Eastern time with another card or a project of some sort to share with you. 
So I appreciate you all being here. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, I will, like I said, I'll plan to be back on Friday and the next week, Tuesday. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will link up the blog post in the description of this video um, once it posts tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So you'll be able to find all the details and uh, find all the cardstock cuts. So no worries there. And I will make sure they're right in the <laughs> blog post. And if they're not, you can ask me questions about them. Um, but again, um, that's all I had for today. So I appreciate you being here. Don't forget my double points are ending tonight. And don't forget the great joining special. Just do it. <laughs> come on over, join our team. We'd love to have you here and uh, come hang out with us and get the discount for yourself. So, all right, have a wonderful rest of your day and we will chat soon.